Championship weekend is a big weekend in college football. This is the weekend that determines who's going where as far as bowl games. From the BCS National Championship game to the Rose Bowl to the Sugar Bowl and so on. But this is a big weekend for Alabama State football. For the third straight week year in a row, we are back in Detroit, Michigan. And we have a chance to become three-time SWAT champions. But not just three-time, three years in a row. We can three-peat today. We're going up against the Texas Southern Tigers. Well ranked, that's the number 12 team in the country. It's Jamal Charles versus Justin Chambers. But that's what the hype's been all week anyway. Now remember, we have to win convincingly to show these people in the polls that we deserve to go to a big time bowl game. We're tired of the Music City Bowl. It's time for a change. Kevin Scott has had the best season of his career. He leads the team in receptions, one of the best in the country as far as receiving yards as well as receiving touchdowns. But today, we need him to play one of the best games of his life. Now they got Todd Robinson as the starter, but please believe William Stelz is starting in this game. He is the impact player. There goes Jamal Charles at running back 88 overall. Mike Johnson is the man on defense at free safety. So we're looking to win big in this game. It's not going to be easy though. And I'm not expecting Texas Southern to go easy on us at all. If we're talking about winning this game, we have to put Jamal Charles in check. So we're going to try to load up the box this entire game. Also on offense, we have to keep an eye out on that free safety because he could cause problems for us in the pass. But look at Justin Chambers though. That man's already beasted. Newton steps back to pass and he finds Tim Brown on the crossing route. We're short of the first down marker, but it's second and two. And the man all the way from VA goes into Super Saiyan mode. When you see that cinema clip, you already know what time it is. He's already over 1,700 yards rushing. And that was a bad pass, incomplete, intended for Kevin Scott. We got second and 10. Somebody move. There's a flag on the play. Who was it on? It's offsides on Texas Southern. That gives us five extra yards to work on, getting us closer to the end zone. Play action fake here. Bobby Newton looking for Kevin Scott, and that's incomplete. Great play there by the DB. Third and five, Justin Chambers takes it to the right side, but he's short of the first down. So now we're going to go forward on fourth and one. We give it to our fullback, Adams, and he doesn't get it. Wiggins in on the tackle. The Texas Southern Tigers have the ball. There goes Steph stepping back to pass. And that should have been picked off by Jason Moore. On second and 10, the hand off the Jamal Charles, the impact player at running back, the Texas Longhorn transfer. Third and nine, Stelz steps back and pops it. And that's great coverage right there by Cedric McNeil. So Texas Southern is forced to point after going three and out. There goes Gene Speedy Singleton waiting for the kick at the 30. Goes up the left side. Gene Speedy Singleton does it again. Wow. Three straight games with a punt return. Touchdown, Alabama State. We're on the board. Texas Southern facing the 33. Steps does a quarterback draw. He gets it. First down for the Tigers. What a run there by Steps. First and 10. Steps feels the pressure, and that's incomplete. Second and 10 at the 44. Another play fake, and Lawrence Martin gets in on the sack. He's already making his presence known. Third and long. Stealth steps back to pass and pops it deep. But that pass is going out of bounds and hitting people in the media. First and 10. The Hornets got the ball back. The man all the way from VA takes it to the right side. Gets past the 45 and near the 50-yard line. We're at our own 47. We're in good field position. We're going back to Chambers. This time to the left side. Makes a man miss. And then gets tackled. As the first quarter comes to an end. It's 7-0. Neither team has been able to get into the end zone on offense so far. But we actually got in there on special teams. There goes Gene getting another first down for us. There goes Newton stepping back to pass. He finds Kevin Scott. He breaks a tackle. He breaks another tackle and gets into the end zone. Look at that power. Look at that strength. That's what the NFL scouts are licking their chops over. Touchdown, Alabama State. Look at this play again. 
He makes one man miss, breaks away from another tackle, and then gets tackled into the end zone. Kevin Scott's going to make somebody very happy in the NFL, but once again, he needs to work on his hands. Still having a problem catching the ball consistently. And then there goes Jamal Charles. Going up the left side on the handoff. And now Texas Southern's cruising. This time Stutz is looking deep. And that's a greatly defended pass by Jason Moore. There goes the counter trap. That's a glitch. And Mike Considine takes down Stelts. So now the Tigers are facing a third and eight. Still stepping back the pass once again. He finds his wide receiver. But that's well short of the first down. So now. They have to punt the ball again. And there goes Gene Singleton taking it up the right side. Gene Singleton, oh my goodness. Nobody's going to catch him for the second time in this game. Another punt return. Wow. The LSU transfer is unbelievable. And now the Hornet defense is turning up. We're up 21 to nothing. Nobody was expecting this. Jamal Charles, the Texas Longhorn transfer. Still forming a man taken down from behind. If he had broke that last tackle, that would have been six points. And now here goes Texas Southern. And Jason Moore gets beat by Hearn. The Tigers are driving. They're trying to get back into this game. First and 10, Jamal Charles on the toss. Goes to the right side. Look at that spin move on Kyle Gray. First and 10, they're in the red zone. Another counter trap to Jamal Charles. This time he runs into a wall of black and gold. Lawrence Taylor Martin on the hit. Second and 10, back to Charles, their best player. But once again, he finds that wall of black and gold. Stelz looking into the end zone for Hearn. And that's a greatly covered pass by Jason Moore. So the Tigers settle for three points. The kick is up and it's good. 133 left in the, in the first half, excuse me. We got second and 10. We got the ball back. The man all the way from VA takes it to the left side. And it's third and five. Gene Speedy Sigurdsson on the handoff. He gets the first down and much more. Oh, man. If Gene Sigurdsson comes back and Justin Chambers leaves, we're going to be good at running back. But look at Kevin Scott making that catch up the middle. Just his second catch of the game, being a big impact so far. Newton popping it up the middle again. This time it's intercepted by Johnson, the free safety. The impact player going down the left side. Justin Chambers chases him down. So now the Tigers got the ball at the Hornet 26-yard line. Stilts pops it off there to pass, and that's deflected away by Lawrence Martin. Great play there. So eventually they set up for three more points. The kick is up, and it's good. At the half, it's 21 to six. The Hornets are winning. Number 12 in the country, looking to improve on the bowl game. And Jamal Charles is going nowhere on that play. Second and 11, they go back to him again. Runs into the line of scrimmage, taken down. It's third and 10 at the Texas Southern 22. Stelz takes the snap, goes out. Goat looks up the middle and that pass is dropped. Wow. So here we go again. It's Gene Speedy Singleton. He already has two punt returns today. Can he make it three? Look at that convoy. He makes a man miss and he's off to the races again. Gene Speedy Singleton. Oh my goodness. Three punt returns in one game. In a span of three games, Gene Speedy Singleton has five punt returns for touchdowns. What an unbelievable stat line. As the Tigers face a 34, Jamal Charles takes the handoff on a draw play. And there goes Jesse Moore, the Mississippi State transfer, taking him down. Our linebackers are beasts, man. And then we got some more coming in with William Dorsey and Leon Hill. Unbelievable. There's, there goes Jamal Charles taking the handoff up the gut. And then he gets taken down by the face mask in the hands of Kyle Gray. So now they have another first and 10. The ball's at our 22. Still with all that a pass, and that pass is dropped. Jamal Charles dropped that one. Second and 10, a toss play, and there goes Blake Koch, our best defensive lineman. Third and long. Still pops it this time into the end zone, and that pass is caught by Joseph. Touchdown, Texas Southern. And now they're going for two. There goes the full back in motion. The toss play to Jamal Charles. But this time he's not full. Lawrence Taylor Martin taking him down on the play action. Newton pops it up the middle. That's caught by Marcus Williams, our transfer from Georgia. First and 10, 
play action, Texas Southern's not happy. They're tired of us now. It's second and 15. Justin Chambers, the man all the way from VA, taking the hand off up the left side and then gets away from a tackler and taken down. First and 10. Bobby Newton feeling the pressure and he gets sacked. And now the third quarter comes to an end. It's 28 to 12. We're in the driver's seat to win the swag once again, but we have to keep our foot on the gas pedal. And there goes the man all the way from VA. 10 5 house call. Touchdown, Alabama State. 35 to 12. What a run by Justin Chambers. Jamal Charles is doing whatever he can to get his team back into this game. He's going to be an NFL player one day to the Kansas City Chiefs. But right now, we're ripping him apart in this SWAT championship game. He has 78 yards and 61 at the first contact. And this time, it's a play action pass to Will Stelts. And that's picked off by Jason Moore. Look how high he jumped to get that pass. And he's taking it all the way back. 10-5. House call. Touchdown. Alabama State. What a play by Jason Moore. Our junior cornerback. So now on the ensuing can kickoff, there goes Jamal Charles going up the left side. Past the 50, inside the 40, in the Hornet territory. Taken down finally by Josh Smith. Our one-star linebacker steps on the draw plate. Gets run into, he ran into a wall, excuse me. Third and long now. Steps pops it. And that pass is deflected away by Cedric McNeil. What a game he's having. Fourth down for the Tigers. Steps with all in the pass. That's battered away. Lawrence Moore said, get that out of here. First and 10, Gene Speedy Singleton. Having probably the best game of his career. Three punt returns for touchdowns. Unbelievable stat line. But this time we're looking deep for the pass. Tim Brown can't haul that in. That was greatly deflected away by the uh, DB for Texas Southern. Justin Chambers couldn't get nothing going, so here we go on fourth and five. Chambers down the left sideline in the Texas Southern Territory. 30, 20, 10. He did it again. It's not a replay. Touchdown, Alabama State. We did it. We three-peat as SWAT champions. We win 49 to 12. We not only beat Texas Southern, we dominated the game. Thanks to the three pump returns for touchdowns by Gene Speedy Singleton, the LSU transfer. What a game for the Alabama State Hornets. Now let's take a look at the stats. Justin Chambers, 249 yards rushing. Over seven, he almost had 18 yards of carry with two touchdowns. Our wide receivers didn't have to do much because it was all Justin Chambers. And on special teams, it was all Gene Speedy Singleton. Our offensive line was pretty good today. We still allowed a sack, but this defense was lights out. William Dorsey led the team in tackles for today. We had a phenomenal pick six by Jason Moore. Lawrence Martin getting in on the sack. Just an all around great defensive performance. Even Mike Constantine had a tackle for loss and we know how slow he is coming off the edge. We really need to work on getting better defensive linemen because I believe we can cause more damage on defense if our front four was just a bit better. But look at Gene Speedy Singleton though. 244 return yards on the day, on five pump returns, averaging almost 50 a return, along with 79 and three touchdowns. We win the swag once again. Join us next time on the episode of The Steam to find out what bowl game we're going to. Peace.